EES, which is pronounced E's, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. Starting with version 11.477, E's and the E's RefProp interface have been improved to allow the E's RefProp interface to provide property data using exactly the same property commands that are used uh, for built-in E's fluids. Also, the calculation speed associated with using the E's RefProp interface has been significantly improved. In this new version, all that is needed is to add the underscore RP uh, to, to the name of any fluid or mixture that RefProp already recognizes. Property calls uh, made in this manner use the unit system that is specified in Ease. So for example, this Ease command coupled with this directive will provide the specific enthalpy of propane at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals using RefProp rather than using Ease. And the results are shown here in kilojoules per kilogram. So any set of independent properties can be provided just as for the built-in ease functions. Uh, the fluid name could be a pure fluid. So for example, propane, that's a pure fluid. Propane RP is the propane pure fluid from RefProp. Or it could be a predefined mixture. So for example, R466A underscore RP is the mixture R466A from RefProp. The property plot command can also be used to prepare property plots using RefProp fluid data uh, in this new uh, Ease RefProp interface as well. So an Ease RefProp interface that's dated May 27th, uh, 2022 or later is required to use the property functions uh, with the Ease format or to produce property plots uh, using uh, RefProp. You can determine the date of your Ease RefProp interface using the ease underscore refprop underscore date dollar sign function so that's what I'm doing here <clears throat> the original so pre May 27 2022 ease refprop interface uh, required that you call an entirely separate library of procedures to obtain the properties and, and these procedures are independent of and, and actually much different than those used for built-in fluids and ease uh, this pre May 27, 2022 interface did allow you to construct a mixture, so specify its composition from within Ease and then obtain the properties for that mixture uh, from RefProp. And this original interface does continue to be available. However, the newer version of the Ease RefProp interface allows you to use any fluid or predefined mixture in RefProp, again, in exactly the same way that you would use a built-in fluid in Ease. So the list of fluids and predefined mixtures that are available by default in RefProp is pretty extensive. So here I've just opened up RefProp and I've selected the substance menu. <clears throat> and you can, you can see the list here. If you want to simulate a mixture that's not one of these predefined mixture options, well then you can define your own uh, mixture and save the .mix file and, and call it in exactly the same way. So for example, <clears throat> I can define a mixture that's 40% R32 with the balance being R125. So this is a mixture that's similar to R410A or B, uh, but it's it's different composition, so it's not one that appears in this predefined mixture list in RefProp. And then I'll, I'll open RefProp, uh, and I'm going to construct this new mixture uh, by selecting Define New Mixture from the Substance menu. And I'm going to add R32 and R125 uh, to the selected mixture components list, and then specify the composition. And then finally save the .mix file by selecting store. So if the .mix file is saved in the mixtures folder of your RefProp installation, then Ease will automatically find this new predefined mixture. And you can call it from within Ease, again, simply by adding the underscore RP to its name. So for example, now that I've defined the mixture, I can access the properties of this uh, my refrigerant underscore RP just like I could any built-in fluid in ease. So here I'm going to get the enthalpy of 35C and 400 uh, <coughs> kilopascals. All right, so let's illustrate the use of this new ease RefProp interface by developing a simple model of a vapor compression cycle, which is shown here, uh, that has a suction liquid heat exchanger. So the refrigerant in the cycle will be that newly defined mixture, 40% uh, R32 and 60% R125, again defined with the myrefrigerant.mix file. 
Um, I just am going to select some operating conditions for the cycle. So uh, the cold temperature minus 5 and the hot temperature is 25 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, the displacement rate of the compressor is 70 cc's per second. It has a volumetric efficiency of 78% and an isentropic efficiency of 72%. Uh, the cycle has uh, some superheat and subcool, so 3 degrees and 5 degrees Celsius respectively. And then the uh, three heat exchangers all have some approach temperature difference. So the condenser, evaporator, and suction liquid heat exchangers uh, have approach temperature differences of 5 degrees Celsius, 4 degrees Celsius, and 2 degrees Celsius, respectively. And these are the input parameters then uh, entered in ease. The next step is to go through all the state points in the cycle. And again, I'm just going to use my refrigerant underscore RP as the refrigerant, and I'll do this um, just like I would any built-in ease fluid. So working through the cycle, we have the condenser exit, which is specified by the uh, approach temperature difference and the degree of subcooling, and the evaporator exit, which is specified by the approach temperature difference of the evaporator, uh, and the degree of superheating. And we have the compressor inlet, which is uh, specified by the approach temperature difference of the suction liquid heat exchanger and here we're assuming that the pressure remains constant on the high and the low sides um, the throttle inlet you get from a uh, energy balance on the suction liquid heat exchanger that specifies the enthalpy and you can get all the other properties uh, the throttle is assumed to be isenthalpic so that gets you to state six here and then finally the compressor exit you get by applying the um, isentropic efficiency for the compressor. And then finally at the end here <coughs> you can calculate the mass flow rate of the compressor uh, based on its displacement and volumetric efficiency and uh, energy balances on the evaporator and the compressor give you the cooling load and the power and uh, the ratio of those two things are the COP. Alright so um, solving uh, provides the solution shown here so you can see the the COP and uh, the power and the heat heat load and then if I want to see the state points I would look at the arrays table as shown here so finally I might want to make a, uh, a property plot like a TS diagram and overlay my state points onto that so to do that you would select property plot and with this new ease ref prop interface um, you'll see this uh, ease ref prop radio button that I would select to use a fluid uh, from RefProp and then um, I can uh, specify the name of the fluid uh, just by uh, putting the name of the predefined mixture here my refrigerant followed by underscore RP and now that will be what is accessed to generate the isobars and things like that so here I'm going to select isobars on the TS diagram that correspond to um, to those used by the cycle and uh, solve and uh, finally I can overlay uh, our state points onto this TS diagram and uh, you can see the cycle right? and I can um, make it look a little nicer with a little bit of effort but, but you sort of see how this works Okay, so this is one of a series of tutorials uh, that is meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. To get more information about Ease, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from this website.